Hey, hi all. So um, I'm starting with the Google Cloud introduction lecture. So this is the first lecture. Um, I'm not going to show you any demo here, but uh, I will walk you through a little bit about uh, the background of Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so um, let's move on. So uh, my journey with Google has started uh, two years back. Uh, when I attended the, their events, uh, which uh, happened in India, Mumbai, uh, okay, and uh, uh, when I when uh, they started with these data centers uh, pictures, I was uh, I was I got astonished by seeing that pictures, and really it looks it was it was wow factor for me, okay, and uh, they also had had some kind of videos which they they told they they have sh they have shown to all the uh, all the all the participants how they build up the google data centers okay in the us so again that was also awesome for me and so for you it is just like their internal part of the data center how it look like overall okay uh, then uh, so so when you talk about data center right it every data center has some kind of um, advantage right why uh, and if, because this data center also increase uh, the competence of, of, of the customers. Why customer put their data on data centers? Uh, uh, so, data, so Google has a very credibility and they have to create a trust uh, or gain the trust of the, the customers. Uh, so always they can show these kind of factors to them that how they are going to secure that their uh, uh, data centers, okay? So if I, this is our uh, five uh, uh, attributes, I would say, uh, Okay, so I will go start with the, the first one, secure and efficient data centers. Okay, this is very important uh, to make your data center secure. Okay, and it should be efficient to carry out the load, right? So, uh, so Google has their own uh, global network. Okay, we'll talk about that in uh, next slide, but they have their own uh, uh, submarine cables. Okay, a bit, uh, by using that, they provide a good performance. Okay. To, the, to their products or to their customers as well, right? And they have a, a inbuilt redundancies. They have, they do a, they do the fault tolerance as well, okay? Um, and uh, they limited access to data centers, right? So so that is that is how they are making sure to make it more efficient and secure. And then uh, uh, to continuing with the first point, fast reliable global network, right? As they're owning the complete uh, network. Uh, okay, uh, which is spread across the globe. So, so by by uh, based on that, they provide a very good good performance uh, to their products, and um, um, the speed of the their uh, speed of the increases because of that. Uh, the, they give give a good performance or a good performance to their to their uh, products, right? That is very important, right? And I think whenever I accessing their products like uh, Google Gmail or Google Drive or YouTube, I think uh, I never see any any lag uh, while accessing that products. So of course, because they have their own data centers and own uh, networks, uh, they rely on that a lot, right? And then um, next is multi-layer security. Of course, the security is something is very important for any data center uh, to maintain, okay? So the, they provide a multi-layer security, like they provide a data in REST, uh, data in Transnet kind of encryption they provide. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, stuff they have done uh, to make it more secure, right? So uh, and normally uh, when you see the multi-layer security, it could, could be like uh, the security could be on user level, could, security could be on the application level, data level, data level, uh, level uh, on the network level as well. So this kind of uh, additional security they provide. Uh, so, so the, to make their data center more more secure, okay, and um, then a uh, high availability, okay. Again, uh, Google Google uh, when sell their product, right? Uh, they uh, uh, they give them some uptime, right? Ninety nine point ninety nine, ninety four, ninety five percent uptime to their services. So, to maintain that kind of uptime, they need to make sure that they they should they should give a high availability, right? So. Uh, so there, the data center is spread across the uh, multiple regions, uh, multiple zones, right? Uh, to make sure uh, the the uptime of their product uh, uh, is uh, uh, the uptime of the product should be uh, maintained, right? Uh, so that is a very important factor here. 
okay and uh, then uh, the last point about sustainability uh, built in all right so uh, again google is committed to nature uh, when i think when i'm saying nature in the sense basically uh, they are making sure that uh, they emit less carbon uh, carbon uh, okay and they they, they can uh, do the re they can use the re uh, renewable energy okay so that uh, the less power consumption over there as well or less energy consumption over there as well so they are trying to uh, they already started using that and uh, so that making by making use of that uh, they are also saving nature uh, at other end right um so this is a um a regions and zones if you see with the picture so so currently uh, by uh, by year 2020 i would say uh, the currently they are providing they are uh, spread across the 24 regions and it regions contains uh, two or more uh, zones so now uh, uh, they have around uh, 74 zones okay so but maybe you are question would be how they they interconnected right this is very important so uh, the next slide talk about that so uh, i talk, i i am emphasizing more on the uh, their own global network right so they if you see this picture right over here so you can see that uh, the red uh, the green uh, color right cables right this is submarine cables so that is spread across the globe okay and uh, so and uh, so you can see the black dot over here so black dot nothing but a pops okay so you are uh, so pop pop is nothing but a point of presence right so you are so uh, so the the cables are spread and connected uh, between the two pops right and from that pops uh, it is it is uh, getting transferred to the data centers or customer location uh so uh, so when you uh, start uh, creating the account right when you uh, take the free trial right and then uh, you will create your own project right so this kind of hi hierarchy normally uh, you have to maintain right uh, the organization and the folder uh maybe uh, you can skip over here right now uh, but uh, when you start uh, with a free account uh, or free trial you can create your own project okay and inside the one the project could be depend upon the your uh, environment and then inside each project you can create a multiple resources okay like this okay to have your own organization uh, you you should have a jisu account right so that is provision they have given to you but as a free trial uh, normally people don't go for for that option so normally what we do normally we create our uh, uh, own project and then inside that we create our resources to use right then uh, moving ahead so google has multiple products uh, which they offer right so uh, i have not covered all the products right now i am focusing on some major products and uh, uh, my uh, intention is to give the demo of that products as well so i am just quickly uh, walk through you all these products okay uh, compute engine right is nothing but a virtual machines you are which you are creating right and then a kubernetes it is a, again orchestration uh, kind of uh, service which which is used to maintain a, which to uh, which is used to uh, control the containers okay then operation uh, operation is operation is nothing but you are monitoring service okay through which you can monitor the your vms applications okay uh then uh, the next one is the cloud storage it is object based storage uh, to st store your data uh then uh, the next one is the big query again uh, this is the the data warehouse product uh, which is used for normally used for reporting and uh, analysis um after that you can see a cloud run right cloud run is again containerized containerized application product which they which they provide uh, okay uh then uh, cloud sdk so basically sdk is nothing but a software development kit which you can download on your local machine and you can configure uh, configure it uh, so that you can access the uh, google cloud platform remotely as well okay um and you can do multiple operation over there then uh, cloud cdn uh, again it's a content delivery network it give you a facility to uh, provide a faster service uh, to the customer okay uh, by using the pop Uh, then uh, cloud function okay it is a kind of trigger like function uh, you can based on the your your events uh, getting generated you can set uh, set uh, write a code to to call this out call this function to to uh, to perform the specific function uh, specific action right and then uh, next the cloud sql so this is a, 
pass offering i'm talking about here a platform as a service offering so uh, currently they are only providing the uh, mysql uh, postgres and sql server okay uh, then uh, if for example if you need a uh, uh, oracle server so that, that is not available as a pa pass offering but you can go to the marketplace and you can uh, take the oracle image okay uh, then data flow again this is the streaming analyticals uh, for stream and data processing okay or batch processing also you can say okay this is the quick overview of your products right now there are many many more so as we start with the demo you can get to know more about it okay now uh, so uh, this is the uh, slide which i created for uh, the people who are viewing this uh, uh, video right so i i am also going to share these uh, links uh, in below in the uh, in the sec below section of the video also so that you can take a look into it and start uh, accessing this link and get to know more about the gcp okay so this is a starting point to all of you okay guys so first is the free trial okay so in free trial you can create your own a free account and start uh, playing with the uh, gcp services then a uh, portal right once you create your free trial you can go to this go to this portal and start uh, consuming the services uh next next one is the service uh, status right this is uh just to give you the kind of health dashboard to to, to tell you about how uh, with the service are in normal state or there is there is some issue going on uh then a pricing again pricing is very important factor uh when you take any service you should know uh, what is the cost of that service so that you can use it for longer term okay uh, and very patiently and then a products right so in the product link you can you can get to know more about the, how many products they are offering currently okay so there are many more to come but uh, the current products uh, offering is is quite enough for any project to carry on okay uh, then uh, next one about gcp solutions right so basically a uh, gcp is spread across the multiple verticals uh, finance retail marketing so based on your requirement you can take these products and use it in your uh, uh, verticals right and then uh, i have also given a link for sdk uh, you have to just go to this link and just download the uh, sdk and configure your uh, configure the uh, environment okay to access the cloud then uh, next one is the doc documentation link uh, so you can go to this link and start reading about the google cloud in more detail right there are many more to cover okay and then last the apis so uh, when you when i start showing a demo to you everything is apis at the end okay so even though whatever you do on the console at the end there is a api call getting fired at a back end and based on that uh, the things are getting created okay an action to be performed based on that okay so uh, i think overall uh, i have cover uh, the main introduction part here but uh, maybe you have some question uh, in your mind why google cloud okay again google uh, is uh, very old player in the cloud because i think uh, maybe you must have using the google gmail account since a long since long back right this is not something you are using from last 2 4 and 3 and 4 years right i am using my google account for almost 10 years right right now so already the gmail uh, then uh, one drives uh, not one drives google drives which is being used right on youtube as well it is being just being used over the internet right at the end they are all everything is placed in the data center only okay so now google already have their very large uh, reliable data centers across the globe and so they are very strong contenders okay and they are already competing with the with the uh, uh, azure and aws and if you uh, if you see the uh, gartner quadrant right over there uh, you can see that google or gcp is a leader they comes in leader section right they are not very far behind from azure and aws okay at one point uh, or after some time they will reach to their uh, reach to the uh, azure and uh, aws also and they already they have very long customer base so, so so you can cannot skip to know about google cloud okay you at the, at a one point you should learn about it that is my uh, request to all of you okay now uh, i'm done about this slide so i'm just uh, show you about uh, how the platform console look like okay let me go back to console over here see 
once you create uh, your uh, account free account then you can first thing you have to create the project okay so this is a project i have created for myself right if i go to the all i can see the no organization because i want to take an jusuit account okay so free account over here i can get to know about this uh, i created this all these projects right and this project every project has a, a unique id which, which we can't change it okay it is a fixed one right and if you want to create a new project you can click over here and create, create a new project it's very really simple right and once the project getting created then what your uh, things uh, you can create so everything falls falls under the this project right if the first uh, wizard you can see the project information then you can see a resources what are resources you are getting created you can see over here right then tracing is just like a apm kind of uh, tool features right and then uh, for a quick uh, start you can use this kind of short uh, solutions uh, to start with okay then this is apis so uh, i told you before as well what are the stuff uh, you are you are doing here right even though you create any small vm as well at the end it vm is nothing but one kind of uh, api calls happening at a back end which is uh, which uh, by using that uh, the vm get created okay at a data center and then at a right hand side you can see a, a status of your services okay uh, billing information you can you can see from here right then uh, you can set alerts uh, whatever you want uh, okay uh, then re error reporting also you can see over here right and you can also with with this on this book uh, dashboard you can also get to know about the news upcoming news about google cloud and then the last but not least as a documentation right over here you can see no more about the google cloud engine no no if you want to know more about google cloud storage app engine you can come here and start learning about it okay and then at the uh, right hand side a uh, top right you can see this uh, free trial status so if i want to if i want to understand how much days i left how much amount uh, i have left so i can i can just go here i can see this right so free trial status 19704704 uh, uh, is is credit is pending and i can use this credit for 25 days more right so when i created this account i got got this account for one year right so one year is going to complete right now okay so in one month i think it get, it will complete okay then uh, i will dismiss it and then we can see uh, the cloud shell right in the cloud shell uh, which is not nothing but a one linux box you can get it to which you can fire the commands and then over here you can see a help section so uh, in the google cloud there is some soft limit hard limit limit right so in the soft limit if you want to increase that soft limit right then you have to go to uh, to this section and create a ticket for google customer support and they will create a ticket for you okay and what your action you perform everything get get locked right notification so you can see this activity over here all the logs okay so it is getting loaded okay it may take some time okay um okay so i think that's it guys from my side of regarding the dashboard regarding the google cloud platform uh, so when we start with the demo you can you, you get to know more about uh, how the service is playing the role here and uh, i hope uh, you are you see my next lecture as well